Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sillen and today I'm going to show you how to use the weathermodels.com comparator tool to compare and analyze various meteorological data sets. So to access the comparator uh, from the weathermodels.com homepage, um, head on up to the model maps tab and then select model comparator uh, and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Um, these are the sort of quick uh, bullet points um, uh, to uh, get you started uh, with using the comparator that you'll see the first time you load it up, but uh, this video will provide a little bit more uh, hands-on examples in case you find that to be more helpful. Um, so first of all, uh, we're going to start off by pressing the select model button over here on the toolbar to the left um, to select which model we're interested in viewing data from. So I'm going to click the ECMWF, um, given that that's a, a pretty good general purpose model. Um, I'll also select the North American domain there, but you can uh, use these uh, various drop-down menus um, to uh, select whichever region you're most interested in. If there's a specific part of the U.S. or a specific state, um, you can access that, uh, those options here by pressing any of these, uh, these country names that have the little arrows next to them. But I'm, I'm okay with North America, so we're just going to stick with that. Uh, and then here you can find all the parameters that are offered um, ranging from temperatures to heights, winds, humidity, all sorts of stuff. So uh, I'm going to pick uh, 500 hectopascal relative vorticity. That's a pretty commonly used parameter um, for forecasting mid-latitude cyclones. So uh, the final step is to press the add map um, button up here with the little uh, plus. Um, and once you do that, then your data will load right in. Uh, notice that uh, you may not, uh, the uh, preload maps uh, selection here may not always be on. Um, if that's off and you're looking to load a new data set, um, then you'll have to mouse over the forecast hours um, that aren't, uh, you know, the initialization will load up automatically. Um, but if you want other uh, information, you have to mouse over the forecast hours to get those maps loaded in. Um, the reasoning behind this is that if you're in a low bandwidth situation and you're only interested in a subset of the data, you don't need to, to waste the time uh, loading the entire run, all 240 hours, if you're only interested in a specific, say, two to three day time period. Um, but the option is all yours to have that checked on or off. Uh, so uh, as I'm recording this video around uh, 2 o'clock Eastern time, the entire ECMWF 12Z run is not loaded in yet. All we can get is out to 48 hours right now. Um, but if I'm interested in making a, f a five to seven day forecast, I'm gonna need to select a different uh, run cycle. So to do that, um, we're gonna minimize the select parameter uh, menu here, and we're gonna go down to this last menu that uh, if you mouse over it says select cycle, um, but it'll have you know the month, uh, in this case April, the day, uh, or the hour of the day rather, um, that uh, you're looking for. Or, uh, yeah. All right, so uh, actually this first uh, number here is the day of the month. So this is, happens to be April 4th. Um, so if I wanted, uh, say, this morning's run, you can click uh, zero Z on April 4th and then uh, select add loop there. Um, I have the preload, it's set to on, so it'll load right in. And now I can access data all the way out through 10 days, uh, given that the this morning's run obviously complete by the time I'm making this in the early afternoon. Um, if you want to uh, delete some of these maps, uh, you can only load in five data sets at a time. Um, given the display space constraints here, um, you can see if you loaded 10 of these in, there'd be no space to actually have the uh, map show up. Um, so if you're looking to free up some of that space, um, you can either uh, delete the, uh, the data sets individually using the little trash can uh, button, button over here to the right, or you can uh, clear all by clicking the clear uh, maps um, icon over here to the left. Um, you can reset the navigation using the reset navigation button if you want to completely start from scratch, uh, selecting models, regions, parameters, etc. Um, and if you're looking to animate or save the data, all the tools for that are over here to the left. Um, I have a set or over here to the right, uh, rather. I'll have a separate video outlining how to create GIFs and, and animate data and so on and so forth. So uh, be sure to check that out if you still have questions there. Uh, so that uh, should just about do it for the comparator. Um, uh, I will uh, I'll just take a quick second to uh, show you some of the keyboard hotkeys. Um, which uh, may be helpful. So um, I'll load in a couple of these um, maps here, uh, 500 hectopascal heights and 850 millibar or hectopascal, same thing, temperatures. 
Um, so if you are looking to scroll through um, forecast hours, the left and right arrow keys will do that. And then uh, the up and down arrow keys um, will toggle back and forth. This is especially useful for comparing the new forecast to the old forecast. So if I were to load in uh, 0z data here, um, then uh, with a simple tap of the up and down arrow keys, I can compare the new forecast, uh, which is loading in right now, um, to the old forecast. So this is really helpful in spotting forecast trends. Um, you know, is a, is a storm system trending faster or slower, or stronger, weaker, uh, so on and so forth. So it's uh, taking a second to load up here. But uh, once that gets in there, uh, you'll be able to toggle up and down uh, easily with the up and down arrow keys. So with that, should just about do it. Um, if you want to uh, save uh, the uh, loops uh, or your configuration here, uh, the data sets you've loaded in to your home page, you can do that with a little star here. Um, and yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you uh, find the comparator helpful uh, in uh, displaying and analyzing uh, various data sets. Uh, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.